Well, morning people, world, YouTube, everywhere, wherever, 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 whatever. If you guys uh, haven't already, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, I don't care. I keep making videos. I don't get butt hurt. I do get sunburnt. I get sunburnt, not butt hurt. <clears throat> hey man, got these little automatic gates, stupid things. Man, if I could do it all over again, I wouldn't do it. So, as you can see, I had to take the tractor. I still have to finish it. I was, it was just getting late last night. So I got a battery here. These are batteries for my toy hauler. Marine grade batteries. So I gotta take a trip to, whatever that stupid place is called, uh, Harbor Freight. I need to get two more solar panels. Two more of these little solar panels. Um, yeah, anyway. So we got the box, the antenna. It all works. So it's all paints all jacked up. Um, but ended up TIG welding this in, coped it. You know, this uh, bar here. TIG welded that there. Spray painted it all. Because. I spray painted that one over there black and it stuck out like a sore thumb. Um, it looks black now because of the shadow from the pole. But that color blends a lot better, especially that pole right, right there is the same color as that paint. Um, but anyway, they're kind of a um, kind of a pain in the butt to do. Um, to get all set up and to get, I don't know, if you're doing a new gate, if you're doing a new gate and you're thinking about doing these, do these when you do a new gate. Um, don't try to retrofit these on an old gate. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt retrofitting them because this pole here, my wife, she hit that pole with my truck. It was a little, uh anniversary gift so this pole is not straight it's bent at the bottom down there and uh, you can still see the blue the blue is all from my 99 Dodge I don't know if you can see blue but there's blue paint still from my 99 Dodge truck bed that she decided to take out and then bolts these bolts are like that long Eight inch bolts. Um, comes a power stroke, power joke. What a piece. Anyway, this one this one works pretty good on this side because this pole's straight. So this, but the stupid thing that these gate things do is they go beyond, which is why I had to cut all this dirt away. So when they close, instead of stopping there, they keep going until they feel resistance and they back off to the spot where you're supposed to go. So like that gate, because I cleared all that all the way over there, that gate wants to just, wants to keep going all the way out. Then it hits the little dirt and then it comes back, which is kind of, I, don't know. I was fighting it all day yesterday because you, you can set them so you hold the, little button down then you turn them on wait eight seconds then you can program its throw so it'll come back all the way open and then it'll go and when you want it to stop at its close mark you're supposed to hit the button and then it's supposed to stop but I was fighting it last night I think the batteries maybe and the controllers are weak or dead and uh Maybe it just wasn't having good signal, and so it would just keep going. Then I'd have to redo it, and then redo it, and then I'd push it right on, and the gate would shut where it was open still. So, and then I get a text message from my kid, because I don't have enough to do. Get a text message. Little lizard. What's up, little guy? 
Fuck the lizard. That's my little iguanas. Anyway, just, just basking in the sun. I leave them alone. I leave lizards alone. Lizards, snakes. I leave basically leave all animals alone except for ravens or crows, whatever you want to call them. Freaking animals are annoying. Anyway, get a text message from my kid this morning. And uh, said, hey, I think the septic tank's backed up because there was some water in... There was some water in my... Uh... Yeah, I felt like something bit me right there. What the heck was that? Oh, it's a little bush. Um, anyway, I think the septic backed up, blah, blah, blah. There was water in his... Uh, bathtub so came out here pulled the stupid septic chingling off and uh, whoa just kidding and we got full so we had this thing pumped about six months ago I want to say it was six months ago and the uh, guy had told me that there was a lot of solids in there and that we waited too long because it was like 10 years so supposedly the previous owners had it pumped they had it pumped um, before we moved in because of the inspection and the uh, pump guy septic pumper guy we know him he uh, he came out one year probably like three years after we moved in and we were having uh, drainage problems couldn't get the sinks and stuff to drain. Turned out it was just a plugged pipe because he looked, we pulled the septic all, the lid off and everything. And he looked in there and he said, no, it's all good. You don't need a septic. You don't need to pump it, blah, blah, blah. And so we didn't. Um, but he said it looked good and he said, oh, hey, I remember coming to this house before you guys bought it and I inspected it and everything was good. I pumped it and inspected it. Everything was good. I was like, all right, cool. So he came out six months ago. And uh, he's like, yeah, you're supposed to have these septic tanks pumped every three to five years. And I was like, well, it's been 10 years. And he's like, well, you might have jacked up your leach line because I guess the solids will rise and they'll go into the leach line. Then you can't get those solids because it's like an oil, I guess, like a grease or something. Um, I'm not a septic guy. I get, I get all woozy and wheezy feel like I'm about to puke when I deal with septic stuff or poop. <laughs> um, but anyway, so he thinks, he's like, yeah, your septic, you might have ruined your leech line because you waited too long. So, for that case, so we had it pumped six months ago. And then about three months ago, we had it pumped again. And he's like, yeah, your leech line's toast. You need to have a new leech line put in. So we had a guy come out when this whole COVID crap happened and this whole virus stuff happened. He came out and he said it's $4,500 for a leash line, $7,500 for a new septic tank. I was like, all right, cool. We'll do a new septic tank. So he's like, well, if we can, I'd, I would rather just do a septic or a leech line because... To do a septic tank, you got to get a percolation test, you got to pull permits, all this stuff. And because of the whole COVID thing, the counties are shut down. They're not, he said he's been waiting for, not because of the COVID, but even before the COVID thing happened. He said he was waiting for about five to six months for permits for septic. And uh, he said now that the COVID thing, he said it's probably going to be six months to a year before he can get a permit. And this is all in uh, Los Angeles County. So I believe him because, uh, you know, when I was in construction, dealing with all this stuff, I always dealt with customers that were always like, yeah, it's taken me six months to get an inspector out here, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, when he came out, he was like, yeah, it's going to be 4500 for a leech line, 7500 for a septic tank, but then you got to pay for permits, and percolation test and all this other junk and it's gonna be another four grand so he's like you're looking at like 12 grand to do a septic tank because we wanted to do a bigger septic tank and to move it away from the house but anyway 
So yeah, backed up, called him today. It's like, hey, called him this morning. Hey, uh, we're gonna have to do a leech line. So, got my stimulus check, 1200 bucks. My wife got a stimulus check, 1200 bucks, 2400 bucks. And we're gonna need another 2100 bucks. Cause it's 4500 bucks. So, I'm sure the kid will help out. Um, I have extra money in the savings account, you know, but, uh, you know, it's a savings account. So, I'm trying to see if the kid will help out. He, originally, the kid, he originally said that he would pay for it all. So, maybe he will pay for it all. And I won't have to use my stimulus check because, you know, he's living here. Not technically rent-free. He does help out. So, which is good. So, anyway, that guy's going to come today, pump the tank. Oh, that was the other thing. So uh, I said, well, I'll call Jim, the guy I use for septic tanks. And he's like, well, he's, whatever. Anyway, he wasn't talking bad about him, but he was just like, yeah, he's he's backed up right now because of some other stuff. Um, he's all, but I have a, a, ta a truck now, a tanker truck. I can come pump it. I was like, all right, I'll have you pump it. Then you can come back next week. So he's going to be doing the beach line next week. So, whatever, crap happens, as they say in the septic world. So, yeah, anyway, so there goes a bunch of money down the drain. Or, I, I don't know, sorry, I'm not trying to put a bunch of puns, but but they're, they're, just, they're just fitting. So, anyway, clean the garage. Um, yeah, that, uh, that stupid fence, because I broke a, a drill bit. I broke a little, uh, I don't know, eighth inch drill bit inside the, I had to go through the one inch by one inch tubing. So I went through the one inch and then had to go through the other one inch and it broke in there exactly where I needed to run the bolt. So now all my bits are trash again. Um, one of the bits, one of these big bits actually broke. I don't know if you can even see that, but... Big old chips in the bits. Yeah, this is the one that broke. That section, it actually... Hmm, maybe you can't see it. Anyway, one of the uh, cutting edges right here. Or it's actually a backside cutting edge. It had broke. Anyway. So now I gotta sharpen all these bits again. I gotta clean up all this mess. These are the cutoffs for those bolts. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And then I went inside the house to eat lunch and uh, I left some tools out there in the front. And uh, some people were parked up there. And I was like, oh crap, I forgot my tools up there. So thankfully they were just talking to kids riding bicycles. Um, and they weren't stealing my tools, so, um, because if they would have, I would have had to pull some type of pewee out and start blasting down the street, hitting whatever I could. But anyway, I probably wouldn't have done that. Probably just call the cops. But anyway, alright guys, that's a, that's a long-winded, stupid video, but I was supposed to be inside resting. I'm fried. My face is hurting, my head's hurting because I'm sunburnt, my back's hurting from walking in and out with tools and then I had to, after those people were there I had to keep carrying my tools back in it's kind of a pain in the butt um, because you can't trust anybody anymore so yeah I'm going to wait for a dude to come by um, with the pump truck, pump the septic and then I'll probably run to Harbor Freight Home Depot. I need to get some containers for those bo uh, battery boxes and uh, go from there. So, Alright guys, thanks for sticking in. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.